Three years ago, I came to London. Nobody knew who I was. I couldn't sell any tickets, and I felt barely alive, just like the Queen. Now, three years later, I'm selling tickets. People know who I am, and the Queen is dead. But guess what, London? There's a new Queen in town, Queen Chrissy. You're gonna have to go around, Chris. Oh. The, yeah, that's not, you can't go through there, you have to oh, go. Isn't that the east gate? No, you have to walk around. Oh, okay. You can walk around, Chris, you don't have to, there's, you can walk, there's a, there's a. Oh, there's an opening. Is that it? What's up, everybody? It's Chris Stefano, AKA Chrissy Crumpets, AKA Chrissy Charles, AKA Chrissy the Queen, AKA Chrissy Colonial, AKA Chrissy Tower Bridge, AKA Chrissy Prince Andrew's friend, AKA Chrissy water bottles. They got different kinds of water here. Look at this bottle. It's not a twist off, it's a f It's a flip open, I can't. Dad, I hope you didn't see that. Got some water and I got the iconic London sandwich, the bacon butt. What is it? Bacon Buddy, the Bacon Buddy. Man, that's all. We're gonna have a good time here. We're gonna see London. It's gonna be awesome. We're here. Finally, I got to Buckingham Palace. It's right behind me. We just got yelled at by a police officer. I don't know what they call them in London, but he doesn't have a gun, so he really didn't scare me. This very palace is where King George in 1776 thought who the fuck he was and tried to take back his American colonies. And guess what? We beat his ass back with our red, white, and blue freedom, okay? Right from that goddamn building. It's actually not because of so that's not where King George... Not where King George lives. So, but isn't this where the... So who lives here then? Is that where Harry Potter was filmed then? Prince Andrew is actually on my Patreon. Everybody in London's got the same kind of like, nice hair, you know? Like, I feel like that guy probably... Like, he just is walking like he's about to get a divorce. Sir, can I ask you a question? Sir, yep. are you Puerto Rican? Uh, are you Puerto Rican? No. What nationality are you? Algerian. Algerian, yeah, nice, yeah, dude. Yeah. They call, the Puerto Rico of Africa, they call it. Yeah, sure. I'm here as an American, representing America. D oh. Comedy 9-11, uh-oh. See, that's a big story oh. of mine. Bring it home to people in Algeria and tell them I'm the 9-11 guy. To find out, obviously, of course, the queen just passed away, very unfortunate, but I'm here to find out and to figure out if Hillary Clinton killed her. I'll dig up the queen's body if I need to. Sorry, just like I said before, he's digging up the queen's body right now to see if Hillary Clinton killed her. We're looking for bottles of hot sauce. We're looking for uh, fake ballot cards in the, in, in the Queen's pocket. We're looking for anything, a fake suicide hanging. On the walk here, I got noticed by three people, all American. My goal for today is, is does one person with a British accent know who I am? Because I'm right now, all I'm doing is getting noticed by Americans who are here for the NFL football game, Giants Packers on Sunday. Did you say, Christy, I'm fucking not coming to your show, but I'm here for the game. Let's go. Giants or Packers? G-men, baby. G-men, yes. Let's do it. Let's go. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. This is what this is what America looks like. Let's go. We're about 5'7 with fanny packs. That's it. That's <laughs> You too, another American. Three Americans, three more Americans now. We're looking for British fans. This is it, only only the three guys that created Bitcoin know who I am. This is Tucker, this is Carlson, this is Fox. On three, say privilege. Privilege. All right, this is the most iconic street in London. They call it the mall. But I'm American. When I hear mall, I think Cinnabon, Hot Topic, and mass shootings. This one just has a bunch of dirt on the floor. Oh, look at this. Look at this woman. They, I guess for the Giants Packers, are the NFL's playing here, so they put helmets on all the statues. England has a lot of squares. They're all about being square, and this one's called Trafag Square. What is it? Trafalgar Square, I apologize. This is um, Horatio's uh, column. You know, he won a war, beat up France. And this is what, this is what he got for this. Made a, uh, a replica of Napoleon's dick. That's actually, this is actually, if we made this 99% smaller, 99.9% .9 smaller, this would be my dick. And as you can see on the side, the lions are just Puerto Ricans. Jasmine and her family just guarding my dick. If this is my cell phone, if literally my cell phone was unlocked there, you would have two Puerto Rican lions guarding it. Oh, there it is. Mac Miller's back from the dead. What country are you from? Norway. Norway? Good country, Norway. You ever eat reindeer? Sorry? Reindeer? Yeah. Yeah? Dude, you're fucking handsome. Holy shit. What size is your waist? Waist size. Can I touch it? 
<laughs> Holy shit, dude. Yo, Norwegian man tits are fucking rock solid. Here's General Charles James Napier. Uh, he was born in I don't fucking know, and he died in I don't fucking know. I mean, what are we doing here? Numbers, not letters, asshole. My daughter's name is Delilah. Oh, she's got to go on the bus. Cut it off. Here it is, one of the national dishes of London. It's called the Percy Pig. I call it the Joe DeRosa. Kind of tastes like medicine. I guess it's good. It means it's good for you. That lady's on crack. A fan has just recognized me. Let's listen. Hopefully he has a British accent, but we're gonna find out. What's up, brother? I'm Chris. Hey, man. Nice hey. to meet you. Where are you from? Scotland. Scotland! <laughs> yes! We got one! <laughs> These people are protesting that the climate made them gay. It happens. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere, people just glue themselves to the street and stop traffic in every direction, just fully glue themselves to the street. I've never seen anything like this. In every direction. When I saw that, my first thought was, this is why your country needs guns. Because in America, that just wouldn't happen. They'd be like, unglue your ass to the street right now, fuckface. All right, here it is. This is a monument to the women of World War II. These were all the women that helped in World War II, right here. That's it, about 12 of them. Glorious dead, look at that. You know you're a good band when you're getting a monument. Winston Churchill behind me, the great British prime minister. He has a quote that I live by that I've said many times on the podcast, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. But my favorite personal quote of his is of course, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. I'm a big deal in uh, Wisconsin. All right, here we go behind me, the iconic Big Ben which I've just been told by my friends in London that the name has actually been changed because of course, we don't want to be derogatory. Now it's known as Plus Size Ben. Can't come to London without doing a proper London lunch. So we're going to eat the, uh, the, the fish and shit. Fish and yeah, so we're going to go in here in the laugh and halibut. Let's see how funny this halibut really is. You guys don't have like human, people don't shit and piss on the train no. here. Because of cushioned seats. Yeah. You can't have this in New York. This would literally be caked in feces and urine. Day one, if they debut these seats. Oh, Temple. Is this the Jewish shop? This, 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 this is good content, me bombing on the train. We are getting off the tube at Tower Hill. We're gonna go see the Tower of London. Time to get beheaded. Look, hell point. It looks like a, that's a, this is a big button. This looks like a big button that my kid would just push. It's one of those things where the train door stayed open too long and I just bombed for the people sitting there. <laughs> so this is actually the wall that Oasis wrote their hit song Wonderwall about. This will keep illegal aliens out. This wall right here, this is from the late 13th century. So like 1280 or something like that. It's old bits of the Roman wall. And it, history is like so fascinating to me because like, you know, they put these bricks up and like that means the construction workers that laid these bricks, which are still right there today, were like talking the same shit. They were, you know, whistling at girls that were riding by on donkeys. Like, it's the same, nothing, that's what the beautiful part about history is nothing really changes. Like Benjamin Franklin in 1776 was talking about being anti-vax, but vaccines back then were like, they would inocul inoculate you with smallpox from other, they would inject smallpox blood into you who didn't have smallpox and see if you could survive. It's the same, nothing's really, nothing's really changed. And that's what Donald Trump's been trying to say. All right, the Tower Bridge. Um, and this is where um, in the 1800s, the Tower Bridge opened her legs and the Washington Monument came over here and had sex with her and they gave birth to Canada, who's now trans. Canada was born a biological female, but is now a male, a young white male that has been doing blackface lately. So we have to talk to him. There it is. Canada is about to be born again. Yeah. God, that bridge is hot. Is there a sexier bridge than the Tower Bridge when she just opens up for you? I like it. Or, or a man, it could be a man. Maybe, you know, no, no. Tower Bridge right now is either opening up that pussy or that asshole, we don't know. But that's the beauty of England, it's a mystery. What's up, sir, do you wanna come on and, and talk about which English kings are hot or not? Okay. You don't wanna do, you sure? <sighs> Show and find, and talk about which English kings are hot and which ones aren't? Okay. Ladies, would you like to come on play hot or not with English kings? Okay. Uh, <laughs> sir. Would you like to play hot or not with English Kings? Okay. Th this, is, this is our friend Marie. 
Um, we're happy she's here. She's the closest thing to a Puerto Rican we've seen in our five hours here in London, but she's from France, which I love France. How great is France? Sorry? I love French fries. <laughs> oh, really? Me too. There it is. <laughs> Hashtag. It's called Hot or Not. All you have to do is, do you think King James II of Scotland, painted here by an unknown, unknown artist, is hot or not? Not. Not. A portrait of King Henry II, hot or not? Not. Not. Yeah. Okay. This guy, <laughs> hot or not? not That's King Stephen, hot or not? No, you don't like the cross eyes? And, no? <laughs> King Henry VIII, hot or not? Sorry, okay. He'll cut your head off. Uh, what about <laughs> what about this guy, King Charles II of Spain by Juan Sereno de Marenda? But they're all ugly. Don't all ugly? Me. I don't know, that's not my type. What is your type in a, in a man or a woman? I'm very complicated, so I like men who have black hair, very... Like, you know, charismatic. Well, so the opposite of me. There you go. King Leopold. Is that your, is it, do we, hot or not? Come on. I, I like his whole fit, but not that. Come on, he just got his lips done. That's it, baby. I'm your new queen now, England. Get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>